The other thing is a really quick way to be able to find the axis of symmetry. And basically, if you have your two um, x-intercepts, the axis of symmetry is going to be smack dab in between. So if I know that it's negative 5 and negative 1, I can see from the graph that right smack dab between negative 5 and, and negative 1, I could count 1, 2, 3, 4, so half of 4, so my axis of symmetry would be right here. And that axis of symmetry would be x equals negative 3. Now some of you forget to put the x in front of it, but it is a vertical line. So you've got to make sure that you have the negative, the x in front of it. Now if you didn't have a graph, the way that you would do it is you would say negative 5 plus negative 1 divided by 3. It's the average. Okay, so negative 5 plus negative 1 is going to give you negative 6 divided by Ah, not 3, divided by 2, sorry, and then that's going to give you negative 3, but again, don't forget to put the x is equal to in front of it. Um, the axis of symmetry here, we have a negative 1 and a positive 3, so if I count 1, 2, 3, 4, in between, we get x equals 1. We can also do negative 1 plus 3 divided by 2, that gives me 2 divided by 2, so that also gives me x equals 1. Even if it opens down, it works the exact same way. And so this one, smack dab between 1 and 3, is 2. So the axis of symmetry on this one is x equals 2. If we didn't have a graph, we would do 1 plus 3 divided by 2. And so that gives you 4 divided by 2, so x is equal to 2. That's your axis of symmetry. Um, again, this one says that it's 3, and the way that we can do it is 1 plus 5 divided by 2. That gives me 6 divided by 2, so we got that x is equal to 3. Okay, so if we don't have a graph, and we know that the x-intercepts are x equals 8 and x equals negative 2. What we're going to do is we're going to say 8 plus negative 2 divided by 2. So 8 plus negative 2 is 6 divided by 2 is 3. So our axis of symmetry is x equals 3. So you can do it without the graph. So if it was written like this, 10, 0 and negative 8, 0, you would say 10 plus negative 8 divided by 2, so that's going to give you 2 divided by 2, which is 1, so the axis of symmetry is x equals 1.